I wandered lonely as a cloud. <laughs> that may have been a positive thing for William Wordsworth in the 1800s, but it's not a good way to be in the 21st century. Most IT professionals are now saying it's time for cloud, even if that just means certain parts of the company. It also becomes clear that network upgrades are considered a higher priority than virtualizing the data center. Cloud and networking projects go hand in hand, but you gotta make sure you don't get rained on. And there are some good questions that come up. I mean, how do you ensure a great user experience for folks outside the office? How about security or even ease of use? Where is the network visibility so that we can prioritize and troubleshoot? You know what, these are not easy questions, but we promise to lay it out. TechWise TV turns the spotlight on intelligent networking with the Cisco Cloud Connected Solution. Cloud computing is nothing new, but for many, it's still on the future plans for the network list. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. We've gone from mainframe to client server. Now it's internet to cloud computing. Each shift has brought cost savings and greater efficiency. And all these changes have only increased our dependence on the network. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if everything I need is out there in the cloud, then my access to that stuff, man, it better be fast and reliable no matter how I ask for it. Now, when you say access, what I hear is network. Well, yeah, I mean, what better place to support the dynamics, the scaling, and the control point for these cloud-based distributed resources? Okay, I feel a definition coming on here. Okay, mm -hmm. if we, we need cloud, mm -hmm. good cloud comes from uh, smart network. So then how would you define cloud intelligent network? Well, I look at it as the natural evolution of a legacy network adapting to a cloud-based world. So not a scary, dramatic change, well, where do we start? Well, it really helps to understand why the network is so key here. In a word, it's location. I mean, think about it. No matter how crazy things get out there with our data, our devices, all that stuff in motion, etc., the one common denominator is still the network. When the main client computing device was a PC, it was sufficient to use servers as the primary delivery platform. Now, this worked well while hardware operating systems and applications were tied together. But in today's cloud-centric environment, a user can be in any location using a multitude of devices, and the only way to cost-effectively deliver applications is to push the application into the cloud using the network as the delivery mechanism. <laughs> How about that, huh? I mean, just a few years ago, it would have been difficult, if not impossible, to use the network as the foundation for cloud computing. Man, there are just way too many coverage gaps. Today, the combination of corporate networks, home networks, 4G coverage, public hotspots, and Wi-Fi, that means users can connect almost 100% of the time. The ISRG2 is such a phenomenal critter. It comes in a variety of flavors, covering basic branch telecommunications to full-blown cloud application and security gateways. Now, inside this puppy is a UCS E-Series server blade that enables many of the innovative services, including those for the cloud. Now, you add a media services engine and whoo, you got a service that's capable of secure video and audio, and it's a router, so you control where it goes on your network. Well, that's a freedom that's not available in current legacy networks. Man, this is a sweet little thing. Legacy networks lack visibility, which all changes as we move to a Cisco Cloud Connected solution. Most network management tools provide limited visibility. Now, at best, they give you a look into the network layer, but typically, the network manager has no ability to view application-level traffic or optimize it throughout the network. You need better control over network choke points with the ability to apply network optimization tweaks to create the best user experience. Now, with the proliferation of VDI and BYOD trends, it is imperative to be able to control access and monitor any part of your cloud. But what really makes it sing Here's a Cisco CSR-1000V. Okay, the Cisco CSR-1000V is a software solution that an enterprise or cloud provider can deploy as a virtual machine in a multi-tenant cloud environment. Now, it can run on VMware ESXi or Citrix Zen server, and it's complementary to the ASR and the ISR G2 platforms with routing-based VPN technologies that include DMVPN, FlexVPN, of course, our buddy Lisp. The CSR also supports AppNav, which can intelligently provision and pool 32 WAN optimization appliances, be it physical or virtual. Let's take a look at Cisco. 
With 88% of Cisco employees teleworking on a regular basis, and most employees, contractors, and vendors primarily using voice over IP, which needs about 80 kilobits per second of bandwidth per user, well, the delivery mechanism here is of prime importance. Now, I add video to this. A high quality, high definition, end user video experience requires two megabits per second of bandwidth per user. Well, that's 25 times the bandwidth used now. So multiply that by 137,000 users. And this enormous surge made it imperative that Cisco IT be able to identify and control IP traffic. So what they did was to deploy the CSR 1000B cloud services router running Cisco WAS 5.0 with AppNav. Well, this had the advantage of scaling services to maintain the agility and deployment speed needed. Now they can scale and push applications onto the cloud, eliminate choke points, and use the network as an intelligent delivery mechanism for security, control, and applications. The Cisco combination of AppNav with Application Visibility and Control, ABC, and Prime Assurance Manager, PAM, provides identification at the application level, allowing them to throttle bandwidth as needed. In fact, these capabilities have become services through Cisco partners like CA and CompuWare. This next generation technology greatly enhances application visibility and enables many networking services to be application aware. Ready for Olympic gymnast flexibility? Cloud bursting is a hybrid architecture that illustrates just how agile you can be. Many customers are building their own private clouds and then peering with public clouds so they can expand on demand. This design allows applications to be replicated or moved between clouds when spikes occur, providing much needed services without wasting infrastructure resources. The agility that this cloud bursting offers is attractive, but it's not without its challenges. The CSR 1000V is providing answers for these opportunities, addressing both the security and the end user experience concerns. I mean, think about it. 100% utilization. Now, who would not want that? Exactly. So now you can see the obvious and important role the network plays, but many are still a little bit squeamish about moving their resources out there, right? Hey, I hear you, man. It's easy to understand the difficulty for trying to secure or manage something that you don't own, and you really just can't see. Embracing the power of the cloud when it comes to your branch offices may feel like a big old leap of faith, but once again, your control points are easily found in the network. For example, look at British Telecom. They noticed that enterprise security and threats were increasing in complexity. As a matter of fact, a staggering 98% of organizations with data security problems also had problems with their voice security. They realized that their customers needed a security solution covering both data and voice networks in one simple tool. And for that, they turned to, you guessed it, the ISR G2 and its UC Gateway Services API gaining visibility to both types of traffic across the TDM and SIP trunking in one single platform. They call this service BT Assure Analytics, and they are the first provider to offer a single visualization tool for data and voice security. You know what? It works with any carrier's transport service, and it can secure customers with networks both in the cloud, on the premise, or both. <laughs> Best of all, the entire solution for both voice and data uses a single platform. Come on, I know you know. That's right, the Cisco ISR G2. Now those control points, well, they're a little, feel a little bit more controlled, right? But you know what? That's not all you can do. There's even more with Cisco's cloud connected solution. If you add the ScanSafe connector to that ISR G2 to get secure connectivity for web, malware, virus scans at the branch, without any WAN congestion caused by needlessly backhauling everything through the data center. All right, we've seen how these cloud connectors create the cloud intelligent network, protecting both the user and the data being transported. I mean, the security is built right into the network instead of this overlay technology, and it's tunable based on your policies. A cloud intelligent network is imperative to your company's competitive edge in pushing new apps and services to its customers and employees, as well as handing the expansion of data, video, and web that you're going to need. It enables dynamic, efficient cloud with high levels of IT agility. And lastly, it saves on capital investment by automating processes that are currently manual. And a cloud intelligent network can pave the way to a faster deployment of cloud services and reduce your time spent managing this stuff. Yeah, man, I tell you, you know, if, if I was an, a CIO or an IT manager with a cloud connected solution, I'd be meditating on my own inner being, want to see where I could burst my own cloud. 
Okay, that's awkward. Okay, you know that Wordsworth poem that I quoted in the beginning? It's, well, it's really about the beauty of nature, and, and conversely, you have to admire the beauty of the Cisco Cloud Connected Solution. Uh, you know, that was good, man, that was good. Technology designed and integrated to work together just like Mother Nature. <laughs> hey, for more information, go to the link you'll see coming up. We'll see you again next time.